<laughs> hey guys. <laughs> hey. So, by the intro of the video, you guys might already know that this video is about Monster Hunter. <laughs> Today we're gonna take uh, six of the Monster Hunters um, monsters. Monsters. <laughs> yeah, and turn them into a cheaply version of themselves. The Q stack. Yeah, it will be three for me and three for her. Me. What is the first monster I are you gonna draw? The three monster that I choose. No, no, the first, first one first. The first one first. Of course, I'm gonna draw Nagaruga. Nagaruga. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, the, the ninja one. Yeah. I'm so gonna draw. I'm gonna draw Jinoga. Jinoga. Yeah, the 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 giant tiger itch? The the electric type. Nagakuga. It has black scale, black fur, and nightmarish red eyes, giving it the look and style of predatory black panther. Its dark feral appearance suggests that it may mainly be a nocturnal predator. This wyvern has been sighted within the great forest at both night and daytime, the jungle, and also old swamp. When it's in rage mode, its eyes glow bright red and leave trails of reddish line when Nagakuga moves. Also, its tail erects large spikes, which can be flung and linked up with the attack for devastating hits. Their vertebrae and tail muscles are extremely flexible, making the tail of Nagakuga also prehensile. Its tail is also the most powerful weapon. The scale at the end of the tail can also be shaken, to produce rattling sound similar to that of a rattlesnake. Nagakuga is a careful and cautious monster. It is very easy for it to sneak up to a hunter. Nagakuka lives in a dark places that it has adapted to it. It rests on the high trees that are hard to reach, or maybe can't be reached, so hunter can't catch it by surprise for capturing it. Nagakuka will wake up when the hunter are right in front of the tree due to its natural senses. Shinoka is a quadrupedal monster with superficially lupine feather. It has highly developed limbs, sharp fangs and claws. Its forelegs are extremely powerful and can kill prey in one brutal blow. Despite its hulking size, Shinoka is very agile and is able to perform many impressive aerial and land-based maneuvers. The spike on its body mostly lies flat, but when it has built up an electric charge, they stick out vertically into the air. Sinogar, a solitary hunter, roaming their territory for prey, they are aggressive and will attack intruders on sight. Sinogar inhabits mostly temperate mountainous areas such as Mystic Peak and Heaven's Mount. The name Sinogar is simply English spelling of original Japanese name, Jin Ogre. What is the second one you're gonna draw? The second one is gonna be the Shakmi one. Can you guess? Dodogama? Yeah. Uh -huh. With the cute color blue scheme. Mm -hmm. The second one I'm gonna draw is Gravinus. The the T Rex with with the the sword tail. Dodogama has blue scale with orange stripe covering its body. It has a massive button jaw used for storing rock in its mouth, which will turn orange when they become volatile. Dodogama is known to eat rocks for defense, 
When these rocks are combined with its saliva, they became explosive in nature, becoming a powerful projectile that it can spit at Predator. Dodogama lose a turf war with Devil Joe, resulting in Devil Joe picking up and frailing the Fang Wyvern around as a weapon. It is also a very docile monster. It will only attack Hunter if they either attack it first, or if it is fighting another big monster. Glavinus is a large brute wyvern with dark red scale covering its body. Two rows of blue, bony plates running along its back, going from the eye to the tail. Its underside is more of a cream color. The main feature of Glavinus physiology is its huge and sword like tail. The tail was originally the same color as its back plate, although it would turn rusty color or a fiery red during the battle. Its hind legs are powerful and muscular, while its arms are much smaller and mostly useless. The face and jaw are covered in sturdy plating, particularly resembling Carnotaurus head, though the arm and proportion are modeled after Tyrannosaurus. Glavinus are relentless and aggressive predator. Glavinus often drag its tail across the ground and roar at the foe, revealing the heat and fire glowing in its throat. This show the enemy that is used fire as a weapon in an attempt to scare him off. Not only are they considered one of the strongest proof wyvern, they are even believed to be the smartest one around. Third one you're gonna draw. The third one is the one that have my name in its name. Oh, <laughs> oh, Paolumu. <laughs> yeah, the Paolumu, but the nice shared one oh. because I love the, the the purple and black one. Yeah, they have like a peacock feathers pattern. Ah, and this body is very cute one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. For me, I'm gonna draw the the elder dragon that came in the. The, the new Monster World, Monster Hunter World series, yeah. the first, the first Elder Dragon in the Monster Hunter World series, mm. the Sino Like, I like, I like, I like it outfit, it looks like a wedding dress. Like the standard Palumu. Nightshade Palumu is a large mammalian flying wyvern resemble a bat. Its body is covered in a soft fur that is primarily black or dark purple, contrasting with its standard counterpart white and pink coloration. Its tail is also darkly colored, matching the color of its fur. Its face is pale white, while on its neck are two brightly colored patches. Resem Resembling the pattern on the tail feather of a peacock, when it is deflated, these patches are more difficult to see. Its wing contains faint hint of green on the webbing. Nightshade Palumu is far more aggressive and proficient in aerial combat than Palumu. Whereas Palumu requires several attempts to suck enough air into throat sac to get airborne, Nightshade Palumu is able to inflate itself with single inhalation. Once airborne, it is capable of flying at a high speed and in unpredictable pattern by releasing the stored air, often dealing damage to hunters that are hit. It is also able to fly without inflating. Sinojiwa is a large dragon with an otherworldly appearance. It has two eyes and six orange sensory organs running up the length of its horns. Parts of its body glow ethereal blues, making its skin appear crystalline and translucent. 
Its wings are frayed at the edge of the membrane and are grayish blue in color. When enraged, it torso glow a hot red and orange. Upon maturing and molting its skin countless times, Sinojiwa will undergo a change that will turn it into a Safi Jiwa. It is quite careless and clumsy with its attack, as it can sometimes trip in the hole it creates with its fire beam attack. Okay, so that's it. The tree for me. And the tree for me. We hope you enjoy it. And I don't know, actually, it's the first time that I'm drawing monster. And I pretty enjoy it, actually. I hope you guys enjoy it. That's it for this video. If you, if you like what we do, please subscribe to our channel. Leave a like and a comment. And share. For your friends to see and again if you want to see the finished photo like the clear one you can also follow our ig as well yeah please follow us on instagram and that's it for today bye bye, bye, -bye.